Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate. for those of you who are new here. Um, I am coming to you today fresh-faced, bare-faced, and in my robe because we are talking skincare. I'm so excited because this is the first skincare Sunday of many, so yay! <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so I feel like I always knew the very first thing that I wanted to talk about skincare wise on this channel and so that's what we're gonna do today and that is scrubs okay <laughs> this is one of my favorite topics to talk about um, because I I just can't I can't understand how scrubs are still a part of the skincare industry I still can't understand how there are people that still purchase scrubs they are literally the worst thing that you can do for your skin i mean besides like besides slapping on like a lactic acid and walking outside in the sun to tan like besides besides something extreme like that using scrubs is probably one of the worst things that you can do for your skin uh so i've decided that with with these kinds of videos i'm actually going to you know why not um do some skincare while we talk so I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get this on and get my hair out of the way because this is not gonna happen with my hair in my face like this. Let's talk scrubs, yeah? <sighs> scrubs. Scrubs are freaking evil, all right? I don't care how fine or how, you know, circular a brand claims their granules are. I don't care. Um, because you are never, ever, ever going to get a granule fine enough or um, round enough to not damage your skin, right? Ever. I don't care what they say. I don't care what a brand is claiming. I don't care, you know, the science behind it. It's all marketing. Um, and, you know, there are... <laughs> There are some very harsh realities when it comes to scrubs, and I feel like people don't talk about them enough. So here we are. We're gonna talk about it. Um, while I do this, I'm, I'm grabbing some maskage because <laughs> I need to purify, guys. I need to purify today. And I'm using the Peter Thomas Roth Irish Moor Mud Black Mask. This is one of my favorite things in the skincare world, okay? If you, and you know, as you know, hashtag not sponsored because I just got here, guys. I'm still new. Uh, brands don't even know I exist. Uh, but yeah, Peter Thomas Roth is a brand that I really get behind. I love their products, uh, most of their products. Uh, but this mask in particular, if you actually want to purify without drying your skin out, my skin is dry, dehydrated, and sensitive and it's very difficult for me to find a purifying mask that is not going to irritate my skin or dry my skin out or just damage it further <laughs> I mean you can see this red spot right here this right here this is something that crops up when my skin is feeling extremely dehydrated or when I'm having some extra sensitivity if I have a reaction to something this is typically the first place to get inflamed and then I also it has it has a twin on the other side um, and you know these to this is like the first place where things start to get a little crazy if I'm having a reaction or if I'm getting sensitive uh, but anyway so uh, the other thing that's amazing about this mask by the way I think it's $58 I believe it's 58 have a look at this you see that that says five fluid ounces five fluid ounces okay for $58 that is insane. That that's what like a little over ten dollars per ounce. A little over ten dollars per ounce. I'm not great with math, but all I know is that you know, ten times five is fifty. So if it's fifty dollars for five ounces, it's over ten dollars per ounce. There are masks out there that are freaking seventy dollars for one point seven ounces. One point seven ounces. That's what, like $35 or more? Wait, if it's, if it's $70. Yeah, that's over $35 per ounce because 
35 plus 35 is 70 and it's not even two ounces. <laughs> So it's like, what, $40, 40 something dollars per ounce? And this is 10 something per ounce? That is insane, okay? That is insane to me. So if you want, like, if you're afraid of something because it's $58, girl, look at the ounceage, okay? Calculate it. I mean, we are just wasting money out there, okay? We are just wasting money. So I'm just gonna get on into it because I've already spent way too much time. I didn't bring, I didn't bring a mirror with me. I'm back, I have a mirror. <laughs> I didn't actually think of the logistics of doing this properly. Okay, here's the thing guys about scrubs and I don't care what the packaging says, okay? Uh, because, just FYI, the packaging is there to sell to you. The packaging is there to get you to buy, okay? In the skincare world, the packaging is basically the commercial or the um, it's like the billboard, you know? So the packaging is designed to get you to buy. So I'm just going to put it out there right now. Don't trust the packaging. Okay. Um, the packaging is written by the company. <laughs> so think about it that way. The packaging is written by the company. The company pays someone to write the packaging in an enticing way for you to buy. So Let's think about that for a second, right? So if the packaging says, oh, these are microspheres, um, gentle on skin, good for sensitive skin. Just so you, FYI, anyone out there with sensitive skin, because I have truly sensitive skin, okay? I'm not talking sensitive skin like I can still use fresh. So I'm just saying, if you know, if you can, if you're using scrubs on your face and you have sensitive skin, girl, Please stop, please stop. <laughs> okay, anyway, so getting back to what exact, like what exactly makes scrubs so bad for your skin? What exactly is it that makes them so bad? And the thing is, right, scrubs are basically like taking a handful of gravel and rubbing it all over your skin. What happens when you're rollerblading or skateboarding or, you know, just walking around on gravel and you fall. What happens, right? When you're a kid and you fall on gravel while doing any of the above activities, what happens? It scrapes your skin, right? You get like a skinned knee or a scraped elbow and then it starts bleeding and you have to go and you know get it taken care of by your mom or your dad or your aunt or your grandparents. Like someone's gotta patch that up so you can heal, okay? So, what happens, like, three guesses what happens when you use a scrub on your skin, right? What, three guesses. And, let, and I'm, you know, this is, what's, this is the reality of the situation. And the reality is you are causing micro tears in your skin, okay? You're causing micro tears. I'm sorry this is distracting. <laughs> But this is what we're gonna do, because this is the idea that I had, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, okay, so also I, I hope you noticed that when I took my mask out of here, I used a spatula. Please do not put your dirty fingers into a jar, okay? Whether it's a moisturizer or a mask or you know whatever it may be, a peel, if it's like a cream peel, do they have those? Um, <laughs> So if you are getting something out of a jar, please, for the love of God, use a spatula. Use any spatula. Go, go to the kitchen, get, get, a, get a spoon, get a clean spoon, a clean knife, I don't care. Uh, please don't put your dirty bacterial fingers into a jar and then close the lid and then keep it in a room temperature place and then let the bacteria grow because that's, that's just another way to get breakouts. It's just another way. Uh, but yeah, I digress. So you're causing micro tears in your skin, okay? Micro tearing meaning tiny, 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 tiny tears in your skin that you can't see, you can't feel immediately. Like it's not gonna be like skinning your knee outside. You cannot feel it, you cannot see it. Um, and that's, that's the monster, you know, is the fact that you can't see it and you can't feel it. And here's what happens, right? Micro tearing, you know, your, your skin's gonna heal itself, right? 
However, it's gonna heal itself and then it's gonna cause micro scarring, right? So micro tears equal micro scars, which is exactly what it sounds like. Tiny, tiny, tiny little scars on your skin. What does this turn into over time, right? Over time, using scrubs consistently over time is gonna cause consistent micro tearing, consistent micro scarring. And then if you're one of those people, I used to have clients, girl, I used to have clients that would tell me that they used a scrub like on a daily basis as their cleanser. I'm talking people who use that St. Ives apricot scrub, which by the way, it's a lie. It's not apricot, okay? Look on the back of the package and read the ingredients because a the St. Ives apricot scrub is walnut scrub, okay? It's apricot because of the apricot oil and because of the apricot fragrance that they add. It is actually made of walnut shells, okay? Go to your kitchen and grab a walnut right now and use a walnut, like use a nutcracker, okay? Open up that walnut, take something really hard and crush down that walnut shell and feel that for a second, feel it. I don't care how fine they get that walnut shell, it is still shards, it's like glass. It's like rubbing glass on your skin. <laughs> I'm getting really emotional about this, but it's true. I'm just getting really emotional. Um, but yeah, so what happens over time? If you're using this consistently over time, here's what happens, okay? Early wrinkles. Now tell me right now that you didn't just go and throw away your scrub. Tell me right now you didn't just go and throw away your scrub because girl, you are, this always happens with this. You are causing early wrinkles for yourself. All right, girl, okay? If you are consistently using a scrub, you are causing early wrinkles, all right? What else happens? Discoloration. Anyone out there who is trying to get rid of discoloration, who is trying to get rid of sun damage or maybe, or maybe just um, uh, melasma, like if you're, if you're actually trying to actively brighten your skin and even out your skin tone and you're using a scrub, that is counterproductive. That is going to cause more discoloration, okay, over time, right? Chronic redness. I used scrubs when I was a teenager, right? And I thought everything was fine. But I also thought that it, I, I thought that I had a pink undertone to my skin, right? Look at my skin. I clearly do not have a pink undertone, right? Clearly, I, I mean, I'm Brazilian. I have an olive undertone to my skin. I'm pale, but I have an olive undertone. Um, I used to think that my natural undertone was pink. Turns out it was just freaking redness. Like it was just chronic redness and it wasn't just from using scrubs. I also had like dryness, you know, sensitivity, all that stuff. Um, but I guarantee you that using scrubs so often as a teenager is partially what caused my currently sensitive skin. My skin didn't used to be this sensitive. When I was younger, it was not this sensitive. And I'm 90% sure that using scrubs in my youth is part of the reason why it's so sensitive now. Um, and th that's another one. So chronic redness, also sensitivity. Like the more that you irritate your skin using something like a scrub consistently over years, you eventually your skin's gonna be like, yo, enough girl, enough, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. Like it's bound to happen. You can't just damage your skin over and over and over again and think that nothing is going to happen to your skin. You can't think that your skin's not going to retaliate at some point. Um, and yeah, my skin definitely said, yo, bitch, this is enough. Stop. <laughs> so just saying. So what can you do then? I know that people who use scrubs tend to tend to have a very specific feeling that they're looking for, right? When they're using a scrub, they want to feel that their skin is smooth. They want that instant gratification, right? So what can we do to replicate that while being safe with our exfoliation? So the first thing that we can do that's going to help with this is enzymatic rice powder exfoliation. So I'm talking something like the Tatcha polish, this stuff. Okay, so this is technically a cleanser um, and there are several different ones in the line, including one for sensitive skin. Um, this is going to be a powder made of rice that you can pour into your hand, you add some water, and it almost makes like a gommage type texture. So it feels kind of like a scrub, but it's really more creamy than scrubby. And this, it's, it's not just like using rice powder as a scrub. 
It also has enzymes in it which are going to eat away at the dead skin cells on your face. So this kind of will give you that same instant gratification feeling of having super smooth skin to the touch after you use it. Another thing that you can use that is going to give you that instant gratification, super smooth skin feeling is something like this. This is my holy grail, okay? This is my holy grail of exfoliation, especially again for someone like me who's extremely sensitive, very dry skin, my skin can get very flaky. Um, it's by Dr. Jart and it is the Dermaclear Micro Milk Peel. This is amazing. So this liquid has lactic acid in it, phytic acid, I believe glycolic acid. It has several acids in it. Um, acid sounds scary, but it's actually the safest way to exfoliate your skin. So this stuff is amazing. It does say, you know, milky toner. <laughs> I do not use this as a toner. I do not use it daily. I use it about two to three times a week depending on how my skin is feeling. But the reason you're gonna get that instant gratification is because it comes with these pads, okay? One side is for normal skin. The other side is for sensitive skin. It's smoother. But this stuff, you pour it onto the pad and then you rub the pad in circular motions on your face and that is going to get rid of flakiness. It's going to get rid of like those areas that are really crusty and hard to deal with. And that is going to give you the instant gratification of immediately smoother skin. Something else that is similar to this is the Neogen pre-soaked pads. So any kind of pads that are pre-soaked, I, I believe Peter Thomas Roth also makes them. They're called the unwrinkle pads. They also make ones that are for acne. So if you're looking for that instant gratification when you're, when you're exfoliating, you want to get pre-soaked pads. I'm going to try and insert somewhere pictures of these products. I will also be linking the products below. Um, because out of the goodness of my heart, I don't want anyone using scrubs anymore, okay, please. Okay, so liquid soap pads, enzymatic rice powder. Um, I have these things written down. <laughs> Chemical exfoliation just in general. So if you have uh, glycolic acid or any kind of other acids in your toner, if you have them in your cleanser, these things will help to keep your skin exfoliated so that you don't have to use a scrub to get that smooth feeling. Um, and then peels. Peels are amazing. Uh, the, ooh, the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial Peel. That is a 25% AHA and a 2% BHA. Oh my God, that thing is powerful. It hurts, okay? It hurts your face, uh, but that's normal. And it's amazing. Your skin feels super smooth afterward. So, oh, also just like as a last little tidbit, when, when packaging is using the words like gentle scrub, to me that's an oxymoron. And as we know, oxymoron means that it's like, it's like a word that is opposite of itself, you know, or like a phrase that is contradicting itself. So gentle scrub, there is no such thing. Sorry, <laughs> like just no, there is no such thing as a gentle scrub. I don't believe in that. Um, some brands will make what's called a gommage, um, which is basically just a French word for scrub and brands that make those like Caudalie has a gommage. Um, God, I can't even think of who else might have one. I think Clinique has a gommage. Gommages are ish, okay. Like um, I know the, the one by Caudalie, I can get behind that. Um, the spears are not I like they melt down in your fingers so they are actually made of a material that is going to break down on your skin it's still not my favorite thing however if you have to use a scrub or if you feel like you want to use a scrub use a very soft gommage but please get a sample first and make sure that you can break the spears down in between your fingers and they're gonna like melt away because if they don't then that means that they're either made of like a plastic or you know a freaking walnut shard glass <laughs> so please feel it first but if you can avoid it just don't use a scrub just use one of the alternatives that i'm going to give you down in the description box below um god what is in my eyes my lashes are just like attacking me you get what i'm saying um ptr also makes this uh, a mask similar to this it's a pumpkin enzyme mask that mask is ugh, it's 
also freaking amazing. It's like one of my favorite things. That one has um, what he calls a, is it a zinc powder? It's a mineral powder in it. And you're supposed to scrub with it and then leave the mask on. However, I don't consider that a scrub because like the like the rice powder, it is a very fine powder um, and they're not spears. And I can feel the difference. And especially on my skin, my skin would tell me if it was a classic scrub because basically I would wash it off and my skin would be red AF, like red. Um, and that doesn't happen with that mask. I can use that mask, no problem. So yes, this whole video is just a PSA to the skincare community, a PSA to women out there who are shopping for skincare, looking for skincare, looking for recommendations for skincare, just don't use scrubs. There are so many alternatives today to getting that really smooth, soft skin and scrubs are not required anymore. Like it is not 1950, okay? We don't need scrubs in our routines and yeah. You're welcome because this is going to fix so many issues with your skin, I promise. Um, I'm going to link everything that I talked about down below. And yeah, have a wonderful day. I'm gonna go take this off. I freaking love this mask, I don't wanna take it off. Yeah, I'm gonna go now and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.